hello everyone and welcome to my channel so in this tutorial we are trying to make a project using OpenCV and Python shape and color detection in OpenCV and Python so let's get started I will create a file with some of that so here you go so name is shape detection dot py so now we are creating our frame so so first we have we need to import our cb2 so let's import cb2 and now we have to create our video capture this because we are, are trying to detect uh, shape in our real time so let's a video capture and it puts in here g because we are going to use our laptop or desktop whatever we use okay so this default correct so while true so it's a red uh, red so red and frame or simply put your image okay no problem so now we have to read it this so read and cb2 dot now we have to it's time to show our frame so let's say frame so simply put here the image and we have to create a variable so first mm, create the word key so in the, inside this word key parameter you have to put here one okay so put into a variable because you don't pass any button of this so in my case i using q so if anyone pass q button so this move will be back so if k equal equal o r d so not here here o r d so if anyone pass q so this loop will be back now we have to release our video so video dot let's say release and destroy all the window okay so now let's run it for control so you see here something uh, a pop-up window will here okay a pop-up camera okay it's open okay so you can see a camera pop-up okay it's the frame so if i press q so this will be gone okay so now we have to create our main method okay so let's go our frame here okay paint so uh simply we let's say a, a rectangle okay so you can see is a four points so one two three and four points so we are trying to uh, detect this four point so if uh it's detect the four points so it will be a rectangle or a square okay so if detected three points so that's a three point so it will be a triangle so because there are three point one two three so there are some some multiple points so this will be a circle okay so now we are trying to uh, detect uh, this three one okay and first we have to detect the color okay because in OpenCV has a term called the is as b ace mean hue s mean saturation and b mean value or volume okay i don't I actually i don't know about it I think it's value or volume, okay? Not sure, okay? So now we have to create a mask here. So creating this mask, we are detecting our color. So after detecting this color, we are trying to, de uh, I mean, make a contours. So if I find this contours and we are uh, detect this shape and create a rectangle over here, okay? So here's the logic. So first we need to create our mask. So H as B equal cb2 dot first we need to uh, convert our frame into a as b format so image and cb2 dot color bezier to a as b so it's so let's paint it out here okay so show it so let's talk here is as b so it will help you to uh, detect this color in each as b mode so you can see uh, there are two frame i think two frame the pop up here okay so you can see here is a real frame and this is a frame so it is the ACC frame okay so let's press q so okay so it's gone so now you have to create our max what's this max so let's say max equal cb2 dot in range for the in range so you have to put something called the source and the lower b Okay, and upper bit. So source will be A says B. So what's the lower below? So put here. Now we have to create our lower and the upper. Okay. 
for that upper okay so what the lower and upper actually lower and upper is a some behavior i mean some matrices you know uh, the, the images are containing some numpy array which contain if, they, if this image is a binary image so it will contain 0 and 1 so now we have to cap the lower value of the hue saturation and value okay and the upper value of the hue saturation value so now we need to create a track bar what is that track bar okay so let's make it here so first we need to uh, define a name window so let's say name window so what is the name window? is the track bar so what is that track bar okay and we have to resize this track right here so cb2 dot resize window whatever resize window so simply you have to put here something called track bar name so it is my case is track bar and the uh, width and the uh, height so put here 600 300 okay now we have to create uh, some like this uh, to track bar value okay so what that in hue they have two values so one is the minimum and the maximum because we already talk about that so lower value so what the lower value contains the lower value contains the hue minimum and the saturation minimum and the value or volume okay <laughs> so me i'm not sure I'm, so value so let's put here cb2 dot create track bar so in this track bar you have to put here the track bar name and the window name so what's the track bar name you have to put here something called um hue Man. okay and simply put here your track back window name so in my case is track bar i had to put something called the value so in cb2 uh, for hue value is actually 360 degree i mean 360 okay so in our open cd we are use only 179 okay and you have to put here an empty method what that empty method so let's define it here okay so dev m uh, let's say empty I need to pass the argument here, uh, image, and let's say pass. Okay, so the track back. Okay, so now we have to um, create more than I mean six. Okay, so four here, six. So it is a hue min, and another one is a hue max. I mean maximum. Okay, so it is the saturation min, and the uh, is the saturation max. Okay. So let's put here the max, and uh, it's the volume or below whatever we can. I don't know what charge you okay so val um, mean and uh, val let's say max what again max okay so now i'm going to put here hue max so what is the hue max value so max value is 179 so just simply put here 179 so what is the saturation uh, maximum below this maximum below saturation is 255 so simply you have to put here the mean below is zero okay no chart okay so you have to put here simply uh, 255 and here the two so for bell it's also the same as 255 so you just put here a 255 um simply put here 255 and the 255 so now it's time to uh, call our track back here actually our track back okay so let's create it here okay uh, click here so let's say hue uh what is the mean equal cd2 dot get track back position actually you're trying to uh, take our position of track back uh, okay and trying to uh, i mean maximize minimize our uh, lower and upper value okay so let's take some argument here to track by name and only the window name so what's the track bug name so the track my name is the hue main and the window name so what the window name actually uh this will be the track bar okay so well, let's copy it out here Control shift t or uh, fix them okay but fact so the hue max so max and uh, uh let's say saturation mean and this one the set uh, let's say max um simply put here the bell maximum so bell not simply mean here okay and uh, simply put here the bell let's say max so bell max what we can max okay so now we have to put here something called their max here so max okay and there's the saturation uh, min and uh, saturation let's say max for maximum okay so here is it so below min and the below max here below max okay 
So here's our track back. So now we have to create our upper value and lower value. So actually it's a matrix, okay? So what try to do right now? We have to import NumPy because NumPy deal with our let's say matrix. So import NumPy as np. Actually number deal with the errors. I mean some multi-dimensional error. Okay. So now we have to create our error. So what this? So it's be the lower value. So say lower equal let's say np dot array. So instead this you have to put here let's say u min saturation min and let's say volume min. Then okay. So for the upper value, so let's say upper equal np dot array i need to put here the u max and the lecture upper means the maximum okay so set max and simply put here let's say bell max okay so now we treat it over max okay let's try to print it out so let's see control shift d and put here max what a max okay so here's the max. So using this marks, we are trying to detect our color. So what is this color? And first you need to create, uh, I mean, find our contours. Okay, what is it? Find our contours. So using this max, what is this max? So let's try to make it run, okay? Let's take some time. Okay, so you can see the track bar. What is the track bar? So let's minus here and get the max. So they put here something called uh, something uh, color for red color. So they're trying to uh, change this uh, this one. So you can see uh, this one is some white. Okay. Set the track box. You have to put this out here. Okay. So now I uh, try to find this contour, okay? It's, uh, find the contours and try to detect this one, okay? So you can see something, something white, okay? White, 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 okay? Okay. So it is the marks, and we are trying to detect this one, okay? And remove this noise also. Okay? Let's take some time. So let's find our contours here, okay? After finding the contours, we are trying to detect our shape, okay? So let's try to um, close it. So now we are trying to find our contours. So C and PS, so contours and the hierarchy. So let's put here CB2 dot find contours. What is it? Find contours. So you have to put here marks, and after marks, you have to put here this rotary external. What is that? Rotary external. So it will um, actually give you those some um, threshold value, okay? So uh, let's say read three external, and you have to put here something called the CB. What's that? My system, okay? I think there's some CB two dot chain approx. I think chain approx nine, okay? So finding this contour, you need to, uh, I mean, you need to detect it and draw contours here, okay? So you need to create a for loop here. So finding these various types of contours. So C, E, and T, S, I told it. So now we have to create our area. So what is it? Because in discuss about this area, okay? So first you need to uh, detect our area here. So, you can, so first we have to detect our area, then this point, okay? So after this point, we have to detect area. So what is the area, okay? So CB2 dot let's say contour area. What is contour area? So simply have to put here the C. So uh, after run this program, okay. So let's run it again, okay. And you can see here something called uh, max, okay. What is that? It's a max, okay. Take some time and it's also upon a new system also. So it's still open. So now we have to um, create our track back here, okay? So here's the max, okay? So let's minimize it, okay? 
so let's put it here and minus it also be so put it here something called I have to drag this position here and let's say 125 here so 125.25 here it's fine okay second side is something this is white and some black okay and try to frame or it's something like this one the max 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 in okay oh this is much better let's try to make it out here so you have to remove this noise okay I remove all of the noise so it's a tricky but possible okay I think here is some red color in my inside of my something top so it's detecting it okay so you can see this max one okay so and here's the area okay so here is the area so if you're trying to uh, break it out and uh, make and draw some contours inside this like one inside this one okay in our frame uh, okay let's break it down okay so now it's trying to create our contour so you see here something noise okay something noise so if you I mean you assume that if this area is greater than 300 so at drawing this contour so this one will remove you noise so now it is time to remove our noise what's that so if area is greater than 300 so we are trying to draw our contours okay what's that draw our contours so the, in this case we need to need not to use uh, draw our contours we are simply detect our what is it rectangle or this circle or this is a triangle so now it's time to boundary it okay what is it the boundary rate so let's say here uh, in this area is 300 and half okay so first um to tier x comma y comma w comma h so what is it so x is the x axis okay so let's open our here okay let's remove it here okay so it's the x axis and it's the y axis what is it it's the x axis and the y axis and y is a y i mean it's a w and uh, it's the height okay so now we have to find it using this boundary react area because we're trying to uh, measure this area okay and try to detect this point so after detecting this point we are trying to say that it is a rectangle or the triangle or a circle okay so let's put it down here so skip you had a library uh, not a library actual method here so it's called a bounding so what's it bounding rect okay so that's the bounding you need to pass here the contours pass here the contours and now you have to create a rectangle here so here it's detecting these marks i mean this boundary react inside these contour I mean max so it will create a rectangle in our frame I mean in our object here so rectangle so simply to put here your image and some condition x comma y and x plus y then y plus h uh, simply put here let's say color 0 2 5 5 let's say 0 uh, simply put here uh, two the thickness okay so we're trying to run this program again and you will show something um, a boundary I mean rectangle or uh, pop up in here okay so let's run it for control B so let's try to minimize it okay so let's uh, actually need to here so let's say max okay so here is a you can see and uh, white sun call white okay put it down okay 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 it's detected so let's check it our frame here so you can see a rectangle inside our circle is that 
is circle. So if I put your uh, triangle here, second is detected, okay? So detected, okay? And this one, detected something called. So now you have to um, some vertex here. So if there is a four points, so it is a rectangle. If there is a, I mean, uh, three points, so this one, okay? So it is a triangle. If there is a, some multiple, okay, so it's a circle, okay? So let's put it down here, okay? So control, not control actually. So Q. So now we have to put something called points and the area because we are trying to measure the point and also this area. So you have to put here something called parry. What's the parry, man? So let's parry uh, equal CB2 dot. What is the arc length? What is the arc length? Because we are trying to. Uh, I mean, measure this land. So, what is the dot arc line? Okay. Arc land. Okay. So, inside this arc line, you have to pass your contours and another argument you have to pass it through. So, it will uh, help you uh, to uh, detect your approx. I mean, what is that area? Okay. And uh, you point. What is it? This is your point. So, let's get our approx. It will help you to uh, create your points. Is there a four points? Is it call be a rectangle? So if there is a next one three points, it is a triangle. So cp2 dot approx polydp. So inside this polydp, you have to put here something called contours. So we one at it from here and pass it 0 0.02 cross parry. Uh, I need to put here something called true. So it will um, help you to give some points here. If there are four points, it will give you something called this is a triangle. Okay. So now I have to get something called here. So if so, let's go to here. If land of this here or not? Let's see. Approx equal equal four. So if there's a four point, so it's a rectangle. What's it? It's rectangle. So we need to put a text here. What's it? The put a text. So cb2 dot put text. So inside this put text, you have to pass your frame. So in my case, is image, and you have to put here something called let's say points. Here. Okay, what's the points? Okay, and simply you have to put the let's pass it here, string okay and land of the approx what's it approx so this point it is a four uh, i mean three two something okay so if you do string here you need to pass here something called this one so let's put here the position let's put here w plus 20 And x not x y x plus y plus twenty and the font name. So let's put here cb2 dot or uh, font Hershey complex and put here a threshold below. So let's put here zero point seven uh, and let's put here color so two five five zero and the thickness should be two okay so it's also same as our triangle so let's put it down here oh control let's say see here copy to control c so i live there is a let's say Oh, three point so it will be triangle or a square okay so let's put it down here uh, is that a point okay if there is something called you have to make your points okay so let's put it down here copy it here and you also to put it here okay on oh, you have to put here let's say Oh, 
rectangle. What is a rectangle? And there are three points, so this will be triangle. What's that? Maybe triangle. I don't know what should this this one okay. And else if there is something called eight or um, let's say eight point or seven points, so this would be circle. What is it? Circle circle. Okay. Okay, so let's run our code and put it here something called the position oh let's say 45 otherwise it will be so let's run it out here and try to detect our shape using threshold okay so let's run it and just max okay so put it down here okay max Call, 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 call. Okay. So let's minimize it here and see the frame. So you can see point or eight. Okay. So the eight points so the circle. So we put here something called this one. So you can see rectangle. Here you can see rectangle. If I put it down here, this one, three points with a triangle. Put it down. A circle so just try to okay press for Q okay and let's try to change this color let's put it down here two five five oh let's say two five five go to two five five two five five so let's run it again and try to get our max here okay so let's let's open our track back here okay oh this track back okay oh you can see something this one Okay, 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 that's all. So, check it here with a frame. You can see uh, what color, okay, circle. I think it's see circle. So, they put it down here and make another one. I think it's a triangle. What's a triangle? Okay, you put it down here. What is this? Okay, rectangle. What is it? Rectangle. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update. I think you will enjoy this video. Bye bye.